Hey, what's happening YouTube? How is it going everybody? Long overdue video for you all. I have a mother-in-law in town and uh, my wife actually went to Europe and Paris for a couple of weeks. So I was alone with the monster boys. It was a good time. I survived. But uh, I wanted to introduce you to the fish that I'm keeping. The Pistogramma cichlids that I'll be keeping. We're going to start off this video with uh, my Banshee Incas. I've got 10 of them in here, and uh, I've got some endlers, uh, tri-bar endlers, to dither so they'll come out. They were really shy at first, and uh, I threw some endlers in here just to, to dither. Ooh, she's a fierce female. That is the alpha female right here. Uh, there's 10 uh, pistos in here right now growing out. I've got 5 female, 5 male. I'll be dwindling this down into either a group or pairs as soon as I get those tanks up and running let's see if we can find the male here is the male but uh, they're right around the seven month mark now so obviously apparently you can see that the aggression is starting to come out in them but they are just a gorgeous fish they're growing out great and uh, couldn't be happier with them um, they're settling in just fine and, and the this is the dominant female again, and here's the dominant male. So they've kind of paired up already, and they have this whole territory in here. That's their little cave. Uh, they kind of guard this piece of driftwood here and force everybody else over to this side of the tank. And I brought the camera out, so they're all going to run and hide because I find that this particular species of pisto is, uh, is more shy than the other ones that I'm keeping. But with the dither fish, that made, made them come out a little bit more. Especially now they're getting used to me bringing them the food. So they come out. So these are the uh, Bianchi Incas. There's the pair. It's a great looking little fish. Can't wait to start trying to breed these guys. Here we have the Epistogramma Pabas. He is a wild caught male. He's a really great looking fish. Uh, a lot of nice blues in him. When I purchased them, I got three wild males, an F1 male, and only one F1 female. Here's the F1 female on this side. Sorry about the glare, y'all. But uh, I'm keeping them in the, this 20 gallon right here. I divided them off because I want to protect my female until I'm ready to start breeding her. Plus, I've got the two wild caught males in here, and I've got them separated. The other guy's just hiding out. He's a little bit smaller than this guy. We'll slip down to the F1 male is in here with my rainbows. Let's see if we can find him. There's the F1 male. I just really like this. The Pabas is probably my new favorite as far as the Epistogrammas go. Okay, in this tank here, this is a Borelli Opal female. I've got 10 Borelli Opals as well. I believe I've got five or six males and then only four females so once they start growing out that's a male right there the Borelli Opal they're starting to look really good they're not growing nearly as fast as the Incas nor are they growing as fast as my uh, Bitaniana Shishitas they're really kind of a slow grower um, now this male is is a lot bigger than when I first purchased them but these little guys back in here those two guys, that, that looks like a male-female there. They haven't grown much since I got them. They're really, really tiny. I also have some dithers in here. I got some rainbows at the last cichlid swap that uh, I'm going to have to get rehomed soon as well. But these are about seven months old. They're goiter river rainbows. Uh, and they're starting to color up real nice as well. You can see my little v-neck chest hairs here. Here I've got my Epistogramma in Inridae. That's my male. I've got a proven trio. Now they kind of got mixed up with my Bitaniana Shishitas. That's one of the Shishitas there. And they're uh, still on the small side so I can tell them apart. Let's see if I get in closer. I'm not getting a good focus with this light. But that's the Inridae with the Shishitas see if I can find the females they appear to be hiding out now this one was sold to me 
it came with the Indra Day as a as one of the females of the trio, but I swear to God it's a Shishida. Much bigger than the Shishidas I have, but it's the same finish and body style, and it doesn't look anything like the other female. The other female kind of looks like a duller version of this male here, and you can see they kind of have a missile-like body, long and sleek and slender, whereas, you know, they have a pointier nose on the the epistogram of Shishida's here. So that's kind of what I got going on right now. Still going to build my racks, but I promise you all I'll show you what's going on, and, and that's what's going on. I just got to divide out, get more tanks, divide them out, and get them into smaller groups so I can start breeding. Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll catch you all next time, everyone.